Okay, good afternoon, guys. And today our topic is linear time invariant system. So it is called LTI system. It is called LTI system. Okay, this is a system. So first of all, we have to know what is the linear linear system and then time invariant system. So then it will be included linear time invariant system so this is the two parts are there first is the system is the system is system is and must be or must be you can say that is the must be be linear okay and then the system system should be time invariant. Okay, so uh, you have to satisfy these two topics, then it will be, be a linear time invariant system. So in your previous classes, you have seen the, what is the linear? Linear means the, the graph should be this, means as the x is the one, then y should be the one or two, whatever may be, but it will not be just like this or any other things should be required or something is there. No, it is not the linear. If it certain have some slope, okay, then it will called a linear time. It may be this type, it may be this type, but it never be this type, okay. And what is the time invariant? Time invariant is just like if it is when x equal to zero, if if y is the function of x and x is is t, this is the continuous, then if y t is zero, means x t is zero, then y t should be zero. This is x zero y zero conditions is called the time invariant. Okay, but what happens if y y t equal to x t plus something is there something is z is there then whatever may be this is zero this should not be zero because this has some value so it will be it will be some value of z so this is not the time invariant okay so in this way we can check a system whereas it is linear and whereas it is time invariant then we can say this is the linear time invariant system and uh, we can see some properties of this then one by one you can see just uh, basically i think you can get this idea and then mathematically you have to understand what are why this is uh, satisfied this role or which equation does not satisfy and then one by one operation we have to learn okay so uh, i have to explain please just let me to erase this. So you can see if it is a it is a system, if it is a system that is LTI system, if you put some input that is XT, that is XT, and we get some output that is YT, but this is a which is this type of signal? This type of signal is called continuous signal. Continuous signal. But if I write down that is x in, then we also get that is y in. 
this is discrete signal discrete signal and this is also we get so this is the signal which is the lti signal where if i put some ht then we must get at yt but no other terms is there if i put x of n then we can get y of n no other terms is there uh, as it will satisfy the rule whenever x is zero y is zero okay so it is a combination of the two type signal you may write down this it is the combination of 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 combination of two type signal two type of system not signal this is a system we are talking about system system one is first one is linear system linear system and second one is second one is time invariant system time in very end system okay so how could we check this so if any change in input it will reflect then and then at the output okay it will follow the superposition theorem and it will also follow the homogeneity okay this type of terms i think you have uh, listened otherwise i will explain later okay and why we can how could i check after sometimes i will give some example so that you can understand how could i check a system is uh, lti system and then we go for any operation okay say say if there is a if i put t equal to 0 at x t where t, then y should be y should be also 0 if this is satisfied then this is a time invariant signal okay otherwise it is not a time invariant signal if the signal is y of t equal to x of t plus say delta x or something uh, or something say, say maybe j then it will never if you put t equal to 0 or oh, if you put t equal to 0 then, then y y never became 0 okay because what value of the y is value of the yt is the j it is coming so it is not zero not equal to zero so, so then it is not a linear time invariant signal okay and if anything if with this t any multiplication maybe t squared maybe t by 2 anything any this type of things are occurred here multiplied by the the any e to the power uh, e to the power 2 e to the power 3 this type of application is there then this system will not be linear then this system may be this type of signal if there is a minus if there is a positive then this type of signal is there so then it is not a linear function so this system will not be a linear system okay this is the main topic and now we can represent with a re impulse response means every every continuous function lti system has the has the impulse function say i just remove this so we can use now we can represent any lti system can be represented in this way we can represent 
we can represent represent impulse response response we a impulse response okay next one is if it is not a lti system lti system then it will be not able to produce produce impulse response response so every every system has some impulse response that is called h of t and this, uh, for this n that is called h of n that is h of n okay so this is the impulse response so what is the impulse response so if we apply i apply on this uh, laplace transform or the fourier transform or the z transform on this impulse response then it will produce a transfer function and it will convert it into a a frequency domain that is the thing say that is h of t is it's a impulse function of a of some x of t okay x of t to y of t this is input this is, that is output then if i apply lt laplace transform or the fourier transform over there then it will give some transfer function in the s domain that is the frequency domain hs is the, it's called the transfer function that is called transfer function in frequency domain frequency domain so this is the time domain this is the time domain so if i apply lt or ft or sometimes jt jet transform then it will get some um frequency domain function so you can understand this okay and for this discrete system we can if apply dft discrete fourier transform jft jet transform etc then also we get at h of s okay h of s or h of z whatever maybe you can get and reverse and in reverse you, you, you can note it down because this is the important uh, characteristics of lti system uh, it may be come to your questions also okay so in reverse if we if we apply y of t y of t equal to we can say that is function of t and this is convolution this is convolution this start type is called convolution convolution means just like a just like a folding say this type of sheets is there okay that is that is your 10 cm okay 10 cm but you can fold it say you can fold it so if you fold it then this that is 5 cm and this part and this part is coming that is 5 cm if you again fold it that is this portion will coming so this portion is 2.5 this portion is 2.5 this portion is again 2.5 this portion is 2.5 so it became under the 2.5 section again in unfold it unfold it then this 2.5 2.5 2.5 that 2.5 this is this a signal if a signal is very uh, very very long okay because it's a frequency domain so if i fold it just fold it you can get same but this signal should be the same same then it will it will look like a just like this a signal it will looking like this okay so it will be the folded over so in this way we can we can apply this convolution theorem this is called convolution
okay guys uh, if you don't understand this then you may ask me okay so this is a convolution and of impulse factor impulse response and now this is called this operator is called convolution this operator called convolution so and you may also write down y of in y of in y of in equal to x of in x of in and h of in okay and we get the we apply this convolution theorem to get the output in the time domain and we apply transfer function transfer function to get in the frequency domain okay so you can you can find out that is x of t sorry y of s this is the frequency domain it is x of s s into this time domain so if any time domain signal is multiplied with this this means convolution with this is h of t impulse factor then we get the output in a time domain but in any signal in frequency domain if i if i multiply it with the transfer function then we get the output at the the frequency domain okay so this is the operator so you can see this and also for the discrete system that is in uh, that is actually that is we get in the jet jet transform so that is jet guys now you can you can't understand what is laplace transform what is jet transform what is fourier transform but just you have to know just basic things and after then each module will cover what is fourier transform what is laplace transform inverse laplace transform and jet transform just just introduce with this what is laplace what is fourier what is jet nothing more it is a very basic time and that's why you do not need to go for the details but after module 2 3 at uh, 3 4 then we can get the details of this is jet transform fourier transform etc and i will also explain the application also say why we we need some convolution is required say this is a long signal is there but if this long type of signal is the is the same same part we can divide it same part and those all parts are equal all parts are symmetric then what we do we just make it fold so that each signal is same say this signal is same this signal is also same this signal is also same so same things we should not we should not occupy the time so if we if we apply this thing say this is the x this is the also x this is also x this is also x so whenever we told that we never told that the x x x x we told 4x uh, this this things is just like a folding operation and in signal this operation is called convolution and in your this is your time domain if i speak in your frequency domain in your frequency domain say where your frequency is the main thing say whenever your radio frequency uh broadcasting these are they, they are sending their message in the frequency say we are in a wave in wave there is say 1 megahertz 1.0 megahertz so this hertz to this hertz they are use this their bandwidth and within this they are they are sending their sending their messages and this is the main factor so so not only time domain then we have to study also frequency domain because signal are both are applicable in the time domain as well as the frequency domain okay and these things 
is called system function. So if this is the y of z and this this h of z h of z is is just like this y of z then x of z okay and this is called the transfer function here is also it is called the transfer function that is y of s divided by x of s This is called transfer function. Transfer function or this is called system function. System function, okay. So we go for the next slide. Here we have uh, now, I think you can get what is the LTI system. Now, for an example, if we get some equation by which we can understand that if there is system is X of, now this is the example one. Now you have to find out where is this, this system or this signal is LTI or not. LTI or not. So how could I understand this system is LTI or not? First of all, you can see, you can see what are the rules. Y of t should be x of t if it may be here something operator or anything may be there, but it should be linear. It should be linear. How could I understand this is linear? Means in a graph, this is a graph here. This graph is given, if you can find out if this graph is given, then we can find out the slope. Slope is del y, say I am taking one by one. Say this is, uh, this is two, this is, this is three. Okay, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is one, this is two. So what is this uh, slope? Slope is del y by del x. That is del y by two by three. That is the slope. It will be added here. So this, this slope should be a normal integer or any integer that will not occupy it with the any square, say e to the power two, yeah, x to the power two, yeah, yeah, something is there. This type of, yeah, one by two root, this type of action is not multiplied with this. If it will multiply this type of coefficient is multiplied with this main function, then it will, then this will be not clear. Then either maybe this type, either maybe this type, or maybe non-linear. So, but here we can see the slope is three means it is a it is a integer function this is a, this is a simple function say so if there is a two it should be six so y by two equal to three if there is a two then it will be it will it, it is four then it will be it will be twelve so the slope will be the so slope will be three so it is just going to the straight line so so it is a linear function. First, it is a linear as the slope is a simple integer. Now we have to find out where is the, you, you have just listened. There is a two type of uh, combination system is there. First is linear and second one is time invariant. So first thing is linear, yes, it is, it is a linear. But whereas this is time invariant, is that time invariant? Yes, it is time invariant. If yt, how could I find out this yt? Say this is a a, this is a a. We don't know what is this. Okay, we, because we don't consider this. This is a multiplication. If I put t equal to zero, so x zero, it should be also zero. If x zero, you can find 
if this is the slope is three and there is a signal, if I put t equal to zero, say t equal to zero, then y should be zero. Okay. So if t equal to zero, put zero, then this all system is zero. Then multiply it with anything a, b, c, or multiply it with c, two, four, anything. Then it also implies that is zero. So y t also zero. So this is satisfied the second rule that is time invariant. So it is also the time invariant function system or time invariant function. Time invariant function. Okay, so this system is is LTI system. Okay, and moreover, there is no shift operation is there. Okay, so now we also it is the it is the basic thing, but we also we can check whereas it has some impulse function and it has some it has some transfer function. Otherwise, it will not the time invariant function. Then how could I find out? Look. If we just get the Laplace transform, then y s is the three is three and x of s. So we can find out h of x equal to y of s by x of s. So this is what is this is three. So it has some it has some value, integer value. So this is the this is the transfer function, and it has some transfer function. So it is a time invariant function. And if I take the if I take the inverse Laplace, inverse Laplace, transform. Then we also find out that is HS is just you can see in a previous slide that if I if I apply some Laplace transform, jet transform, then this impulse function HT will convert it into HS. So HS, if I take the impulse inverse Laplace, then it will produce H of T, and this is called the impulse factor, uh, and that is coming that is coming T. That is called impulse function. Okay. And we we remember that just if there is if we get this LT of this, then it will get one. So x of t because it is only one is there. So one is there means there is an impulse function. Means one impulse is there. Okay. Next point we have to examine whereas example two that for the derivation y of t equal to d dt of x of t. So we can look y of t equal to d dt we know uh, just remember this just remember this d dt any differential operator any integral operator these are the if this is the first order integral first order derivation then this is the linear okay so this operator is the just linear operator and we have to examine whereas this x and this these are Whereas is the time invariant, time invariant. Whereas this is time invariant. Look, x of t, if I put x of t equal to zero, then it will produce also zero because if this is the linear, first of all, this is linear, then it is linear. It may be in this way, it may be in this way, but it should be linear. So at the x of, x of t, where t is the zero, then output y also this zero, so y also zero, so y of t also zero because there is no other other something is there. Whatever may be in multiplication, they it also became zero. 
so this is also a time invariant time invariant function okay and if we if we taking the laplace transform of this if we taking the laplace transform of this you can find you can find that is d of dt differential if i taking laplace transform then this operator became just one so after taking laplace transform of y of t into d dt x of t taking laplace transform then we get we get y of s equal to this is sorry this is this is given this is given not one this is this is given s that is given s s of x of s okay so we can get a now we should take a take a transfer function you know you know transfer function is h of s h of s equal to this y s by this y s by x of s so it is ultimately it is coming the s okay so this and if we get inverse laplace of this thing inverse laplace of this thing if i take again inverse then we get this impulse factor again t dash this is t this is the impulse function so this is a lti and it is also a time invariant signal so from this you should remember this that d of dt of any uh, this this function it is the f and only if i get this is the one just remember these things okay so this function is this function is is a linear time invariant signal a linear time invariant function same just like this integration of this this is also a a linear time invariant signal so we can we can understand this by this another okay so example another example is given example 3 it is given just like this y of t y of t equals to integration of minus infinity to t x of tau d tau now examine whereas this function is lti system how could i do it first in this case we can't understand whereas this is the Uh, this integration lies any uh, any time invariant or not any linearity but generally integration is also a linear but don't go in this way we just convert it we just convert it look if in said in hs class or mathematics you can you have seen that ddt laplace transform of ddt yields lt then it will give one and lt of integration it will give 1 by s okay so it will put just 1 by s and this is the tau and this function x t d tau it is became s x of s okay so y of s equal to 1 by s this so if i take the inverse uh, sorry if i take the transfer function first we have to find transfer function then transfer function to the ht okay so transfer function is given 
you can that is h of s it is ys by xs ys by xs okay it is just like 1 by s so it is it is a also a lti system okay and if i if i apply some laplace inverse inverse laplace then we can get h of t h of t and 1 by s it will yields you u of t minus means it is a unit step function just you can see that is a unit step function unit step or it may be unit step to the infinity or it is coming in the same minus infinity but it is the unit step function so it has some impulse also in this case impulse also so it is a also a time invariant yes as it is given so it is a lti system lti system okay okay guys just join for the next class and there is so many examples is there so we can find it out and end of this first class please join to the next class just join within few minutes